So. Are there any roles that you haven't done yet that you're hoping to do? Uh, I would love to possibly do Tancredi and La Donna del Lago, um, the role of Malcolm. Uh, and aside from that, I, I've really done most of the roles that, that um, I was very interested in. Everyone says, why don't you ever sing Giulio Cesare, the title role? And, and the reason is because the role was written for a low countertenor or castrato with uh, ability in the low register to sing uh, fast coloratura and this mm -hmm. is something definitely that is not my strength. My strength is to sing middle and upper range coloratura and lots of legato line and to show off uh, the beauty of the voice rather than to basically show off the flashier side of the technique which is um, more of the Bartoli sort of thing um, with with fireworks, with the coloratura. What inspires you when you get on stage? A lot of the music that you sing is so repetitive and, and especially when you're doing the same role, you know, multiple times. What inspires you and keeps you in it, engaged in it fully? I think it's it's essentially the beauty of, of the music. Uh, I, every time I do The Messiah, for example, and I've done it so many times, I'm, I'm never bored with it. It's just so gorgeous uh, with all the arias. And what also inspires me is that people in the audience are taking such a great pleasure in what we're doing. They're, they're forgetting about all their troubles in their personal lives, and they're forgetting about work and their kids and and all the, the 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 basically just the labors in life and they're able to just engage in the performance and be transported just like say a, a movie or a um going to another type of any other type of performance where they're able to be transported and moved on some level um and i think that's that's really what what drives us to continue as an artist. You've had such an incredible career. What would you recommend to a young artist who's starting out, particularly a counter tenor today? What, what are some of the best things that you've done for your career? I know everything happened kind of so quickly for you, but I'm sure there was a lot of work that happened before that overnight success. What would you recommend that a young artist do? I would say definitely really make sure that you have the right teacher. and. Um, I, I really do think that the, 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 the training is the most important thing because if you have the solid technique, then you don't uh, have to worry. And worry turns into fear and everybody is fearful on some level on stage because we're like vocal acrobats on the stage and so every note is being judged, every phrase, every word, every sound. And so we really need to focus on on making sure that the technique is very uh, solid and that is the, the, the first um, word of advice. And then the, the second would be uh, that be ready for a life of always being criticized and judged and only being as good as your last performance because that's what it's like and if you're not a strong person then you're always going to 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 feel the harshness or the criticism and it can really bring you down just just like in 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 regular life in in normal life activity. Everybody is ready to, to just elevate you and then immediately tear you down once they see a sign of weakness. And so, so one has to really be strong within themselves and also to find humor in every job, in every uh, challenge and, and uh, to realize also that, that not everything is about you, but about everyone around you. So every time you enter into uh, a rehearsal uh, experience and, and an engagement, a contract, uh, a gig, 
you always have to realize that you're not the only person that is uh, involved and on board and that it's it's basically a collaboration so it's important to to really um, not become too self-absorbed and and self selfish but become selfless and and realize that um, that you have to show a certain level of humility as well as confidence it's a, it's a, a big balance such words of wisdom thank you so much for that oh thank you and what do you have coming up next I have uh, two sets of messiahs um, with Minnesota Orchestra and Nashville Symphony um, and then in uh, the new year I have I'm doing actually a documentary or filming it's kind of an avant-garde project with a um, film um, he is a he's a filmmaker um, and his name is Lutz Gregor, and he is doing three pieces of mine, um, and it's going to be uh, filmed in Venice, and it will it's like a triage, so it'll involve dancers as well. Um, and then after that, I do another uh, La Gran Macabra Ligeti with um, Buenos Aires um, in the new Teatro Colón, which I'm very excited about. And then um, I am doing Il Re Orso, which is a new opera right now being composed by um, uh, Marco Stroppa, who is an uh, avant-garde composer. And so I'm doing the title role of that, and that will be with uh, synthesized music and a very avant-garde production. He's, uh, I believe, a disciple of Pierre Boulez, and so it'll be interesting to to delve into to that project, which also occurs the following year in Brussels at La Monet. Wow. Lots of exciting things yes. on the docket, so to speak. Yes. It's very exciting. Well, good luck with everything. We're so eager to see um, how your career continues to progress. And thank you so much for all of your wor words of wisdom and advice today. Well, thank you. Thank you, Julia. Thank you.